In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a French of batch of new Blender add-ons that are definitely worth checking out. From creating HDRIs, modeling, retopology, effects, and more. Each one brings something unique to the table, whether it is speeding up your workflow, adding creative flexibility, or just making everyday tasks a little bit easier. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Let's kick things off with lighting. Because honestly, nothing sets the mood faster than a solid HDRI. Easy HDRI by Old Lab takes the hassle out of the process of setting an HDRI. So no more digging through folders or setting up complex nodes. Just drag and drop and you are good to go. All from a clean built-in panel in the shader editor. You can preview, rotate, adjust brightness and even add blur. All without leaving the interface. And my favorite part is how fast it is. Swapping HDRIs takes seconds, whether you are testing or looking for a final look. And I think if lighting is a big part of your daily work, then this add-on can keep things smooth, simple, and seriously efficient. And hopefully it will get even better with more updates. Talking about updates, we have an update for a popular add-on called Pure Sky, which just got updated to version 7. This add-on gives you a complete sky and weather setup including sun, moon, clouds, fog, and more. All controllable from a single panel. It is designed for users who want more control over outdoor lighting without having to build it from scratch. The latest version works with Blender 4.3 and 4.4 and keeps the same overall structure, but improves how things are organized and adds a few new controls like control over the sun and moon that have been brought out. You've also got presets for different skies plus options to blend in your own HDRI. And the cloud system now offers three modes, basic, fast, and accurate, depending on how much detail that you need. There is also better control over cloud shapes, coverage, and animation speed, in addition to wind direction. But everything stays in sync whether you are working in EV or cycles. At the same time, if you want to switch between them, you can do that too smoothly. With lighting out of the way, let's talk about something different. Nothing makes a space come alive like a clean and modular furniture. That's why we're gonna talk about Fornicate, which is a geometry node powered add-on that lets you generate everything from desks and shelves to wardrobes and cabinets without even going into the edit mode. All you have to do is drop it into your scene, tweak a few sliders, and watch the mesh update in real time. Also, you can control dimensions, layout, number of drawers, handle styles, shelf spacings, you name it. And my favorite part is how procedural it is. So if you are building interiors regularly, then I think Funkit can keep things efficient, flexible, and it only costs 30 bucks. Now let's switch gears and talk about architecture, specifically traditional Japanese rooftops with 3DT Japanese roof generator which is a geometry node powered add-on that makes building complex roof structures incredibly easy. You can customize everything, like tile count, overhangs, curves, and layout, all without touching a single vertex. Also, it can be a solid choice for stylized environments or historically inspired scenes, where that authentic shape and flow really matters. And it is interesting how non-destructive the workflow is. You can make big changes anytime without having to remodel from scratch which can save you a lot of time. Another new add-on is called True Depth, which is a clever little shader powered add-on that brings parallax occlusion mapping to Blender. Instead of modeling every brick and crack, you can get realistic surface depth using just height maps and smart shading tricks. It works with Cycles, EV, and even EV Nax. And you can use it for anything from bricks or tiles to sci-fi panels on stylized surfaces. And to set it up is something simple. Plug in your height, normal, and color maps, adjust a few sliders, and you're good to go. You can even switch the parallax effect on and off for every material, which keeps your scene optimized. It is actually a great way to get that 3D look without changing the poly count. Now let's talk about retopology with Retopo Flow 4, which is in beta right now. This add-on is built to make retopology way less painful. So if you're dealing with heavy sculpted models or characters, or if you want to clean scan geometry and turn it into animation ready models, then this add-on is gonna be great for you. And everything happens right inside the edit mode, which means no more bouncing between menus or extra software. 
It gives you smart tools like contours for swampy loops around limbs, poly strips for sketching out edge flow, and strokes for quickly blocking in big areas. Then you've got Polypanner Relax to fine tune and even things out. And this version also brings many additional features that you can try yourself. And by the way, you can get the add on now at a discounted price before the beta version is over. We also have a new bundle of add ons from CG Matter called Genie which is a bundle of 8 procedural tools that pack a serious punch when it comes to speeding up your workflow. Each add-on inside focuses on a specific task. Whether you need procedural stairs, fences, tiles, wiring, pipes, walls, and even terrains, it is all in there. You can build detailed elements fast without needing to model everything from scratch. So if you need to build environments procedurally, then I think this bundle is a great option. Another new Blender add-on is called One Click Normal Map Generator, which does exactly what the name suggests. You drop in any image, tweak a few sliders, and instantly turn it into a clean, usable normal map right inside Blender. So as you can see, there's no need for external software or complex node setups, which is great. It is just a simple panel with real-time previews. You will have intensity controls and auto-save straight to your project folder. From what I can see, it is fast, lightweight, and it can be handy for stylized textures, decals, or any subtle variation to otherwise flat materials. So as you can see, it can save you a lot of time, and it can take care of boring tasks in just seconds. Also, there is Blend X Web, and this add-on literally connects Blender to the web, letting you build interactive experiences straight from your 3D scenes. You can send data to your browser, trigger animations through a web interface, or even make Blender part of an interactive installation. And the best part, you don't have to be a coding wizard. The setup is clean, intuitive, and surprisingly lightweight. So if you're into motion design, digital art, or just curious about what Blender can do, I mean outside of the box, Blender X Web can unlock a whole new layer for you to experiment with. Now let's talk about a new add-on called Jerry Topple Tools. Unlike Retopo Flow, which switches to its own edit mode and recreates the mesh, JRetopo works directly in Blender's viewport using a simple targetable Retopo shader. This means you can keep full access to native tools like auto merge, poly build, and snapping without missing a beat. Generally speaking, this add on is fast and non intrusive and feels like an extension of Blender rather than a separate system. Some tools like loops are still in beta, but the workflow is already solid and enjoyable to work with. Now let's talk about this add-on called Fusion Cam, which is built for those who want full control over cinematic motion inside Blender. Because it lets you animate your cameras like you are working on a real set. I mean film set, complete with tracking, dolly dots, custom camera rigs, and detailed path controls. You can build smooth and realistic camera moves without the usual keyframing headaches. But it makes it even better. Everything is timeline synced and layered which gives you the flexibility to fine-tune motion after the fact. One of the standout features is its modular system. You can stack effects, adjust focus poles, or add handheld style shake without baking anything. So if camera work is a big part of your projects, I think this add-on can turn Blender into a director's playground because it is clean and efficient for the most part. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.